Can somebody please explain to me not only what's going on in the world, but why humans seem to be so okay with what's going on on earth right now. The technology sector is developing at a rate that I never thought it would develop at. I said earlier, just a couple weeks ago, that I think ChatGPT4 will come out by December. ChatGPT4 has already come out. Let me introduce you to somebody. If you don't already know who this is, this man right here, or should I call him a little lizard man? This little lizard man is Sam Altman. He is the founder and CEO of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, which is obviously going to replace a ton of jobs. Let me just ask it really quick to tell me and list out into a table exactly what jobs it's going to replace. Without hesitation, it tells me that most likely manufacturing, production, transportation, logistics, retail and sales, data entry and administration, food services, routine manual labor, and basic financial services will be replaced by AI. Let's go back. Let's back up really quick to little lizard boy here. So not only does he own OpenAI and Open Research, which is obviously the founder of ChatGPT, but most people don't know he also owns a nonprofit called UBI Charitable. UBI Charitable's only job is to fund research, the largest research that's happening on earth around universal basic income to see how humans and society will react to it. This man's companies have not only designed something that's going to replace hundreds of thousands of jobs. Granted, some jobs will come out of this, but they're also working on universal basic income to push to the masses. Now, as if this wasn't enough, I mean, this stuff is almost inevitable at this point with the way that, that everything is growing. But mo what most people don't know about little lizard boy here, look at his eyes, man. This guy's an absolute freak. Imagine being locked in a room with this guy and, and just, just you and him and having to deal with, yeah, I couldn't even imagine. I think anybody would just give up. He looks like he'll just kill you. He looks like a psychopath. But as if this wasn't enough, okay, to freak you out. If you didn't know, Sam is also behind a project called WorldCoin. Now, WorldCoin sounds very ominous at face value, something that which most people would imply would be some type of global currency. Well, it's not quite that, okay? They have called it WorldCoin, but what WorldCoin really is, is a social identity system. So WorldCoin is designed to identify people based on their irises. So it's going to scan your iris. They've partnered with a company. I'll link this down in the description so you guys can can read about it, but they have partnered with a company out of Florida that's building these little orbs that are gonna scan your eyeballs to identify, uh, they call it proof of humanity or something along those lines, where essentially you're, you're proving that you're a human to this system. And in exchange, they're gonna give you a little bit of cryptocurrency. They're just gonna pay you a little bit. This reminds me of when COVID happened. I live in New England and here in New England, they were giving people beer and cheeseburgers to go get a vaccine. It reminds me exactly of that. They're gonna give you a little bit of currency if you just come and harmlessly scan your eyeball. Well, when you scan that eyeball, it's going to give, it's gonna put you into a system called World ID where they're gonna identify everybody that's existing on Earth. Listen, I'm not gonna make this video very long, but there's something that I wanna talk about. If the government doesn't step in and start regulating stuff like this, this is a super, super slippery slope. And it's moving faster than anyone could have ever imagined it would move. I mean, I personally thought when AI started to come up, it would take years and years and years. Well, guess what? In, in the beginning of 2023, we got ChatGPT for the first time. Now, ChatGPT has evolved into something that can get like 85% on the SATs and, you know, incredible test scores. ChatGPT4 now. And moving forward into the future, these are literally just language models. Wait till AGI comes out. And if you don't know what AGI is, it's artificial general intelligence, meaning a, a computer that essentially can think on its own. This is the future, unfortunately. But if this guy doesn't make your skin crawl, then you might not be human. Maybe you should go look at yourself in the mirror and, and question your humanity. This guy gives me the creeps. He should creep you out too. Listen, people, we should not... It's so hard to not embrace this technology because ChatGPT and this GPT technology, it gives you such an advantage and gives you such an edge, but it needs to be used responsibly. And you know what? Instead of getting something like an AI oversight committee, do you know what we got? The Gender Policy Council, an executive order signed in March 8th, 2021 by President Biden right after he took office. And this is a council that was set up to advance gender equity and equality in both domestic and foreign policy development and implementation. They're distracting you. Wake up, wake up. This stuff absolutely drives me mad. This guy is a little lizard man. Absolutely gives me the creeps. He should give you the creeps too. Send this to a friend, subscribe, comment, like. My God, see ya.